Hey everyone, it's Mari here for Honey Bee Stamps. I'm going to be creating this sweet card that you can see on the screen using some of those products that you see on the right. I'm starting off here with the hot foiled piece. I used the balloon arch hot foil plates and the coordinating dies to die cut that piece out. And I'm going to also use the coordinating balloon arch stencils. This is a three stencil set. And each one of these stencils has um, several different uh, impressions on it to allow you to stencil in these gorgeous balloon arches. So this largest balloon arch piece that I have die cut out here, there are two coordinating stencil openings on this first layering stencil here. And you're going, going to see me adding some color. So what I did was I just added the stencil onto my mat here with a little bit of adhesive. All of the lines are lined up with the actual die cut piece. And now I'm just going to take my Worn Lipstick Distress Oxide ink and I'm going to go ahead with my Honey Bee blending brush and blend over top of the stencil. And only the open areas obviously on the stencil are going to take the color that I'm blending on. So only certain uh, balloons at this point are actually going to be colorized. And then I'm going to shift the stencil to the bottom area of this same stencil. And this portion of this first layering stencil is going to allow me to color in the next section of the open balloon. So now I'm going to add a little bit of, I think I use spice marmalade here and kind of trying to go in a little bit of a rainbow order here using my honeybee blending uh, brushes again here you can see I'm also using the ink stand to hold my ink pads in place and now I'm going in with a little bit of squeezed lemonade now this is the second layering stencil in that set of three stencils and I'm using the top one again this is the top section of that stencil to color in or ink blend in the open areas on that one now I'm just shifting down to the bottom area of the stencil which is the the next largest so now we're on actually stencil portion number four so now I'm going with a fourth color my fourth color is going to be twisted citron and like I said I did want to just kind of go in a little bit of a rainbow order here so using another one of my honeybee blending brushes I'm just blending on some of that twisted citron which is so pretty I'm using salvaged patina next and you can see now I'm on to the third stencil I'm using the top portion of the third stencil to blend in more of those open spaces on this really gorgeous balloon arch I love the concept of this balloon arch I think it's really cute and this is definitely something that is really trendy right now in parties and and that kind of thing celebrations so it's really fun to be able to have the option to create this balloon arch and this is the last opening on the third stencil and I'm using a little bit of seedless preserves here to color in some purple which is absolutely gorgeous and you can see how pretty that gorgeous hot foiled balloon arch die cut pieces. Now I used my A2 quilted cover plate to uh, create a little bit of interest in the background here. I went ahead and die cut, or added that through my die cutting machine with some just some cardstock and then I cut that out with my Sweet Stacks rectangles dies. Just one of the dies that's going to be a little bit smaller than the A2 size card base that I'm using here. So I'm going to add that quilted cover plate piece onto my card base. You can see that it just leaves a nice border around the edge, just a little bit of a margin on my white card base. And now I'm going to add some foam adhesive to the center of the circle here. So I just retained that uh, the center portion of the, the circle when I die cut that out from the hot foil circle piece. And I pop that up in some foam adhesive and then the actual foiled circle is just adhered flat to my card base with a little bit of liquid adhesive. And here you can see that I'm attaching my balloons to my arch here with a little bit of foam adhesive. I didn't show you um, the ink blending on the smaller balloon bunch there because it's just the same as the larger bunch but um, I just love how that turned out and those are both obviously hot foiled. This is the birthday wishes stamp set. This is a really fantastic set for creating birthday cards. I love the larger birthday word in the script and then there's a bunch of typed font there as well that you can use for a bunch of different sentiments to add to the card. I want to heat emboss this so I am going to treat my cardstock here 
with a little bit of anti-static powder tool from Rabbit Hole Designs. This is a really great tool and it is sold in the Honeybee shop. I will link up to all of these products so you know where to find them at Honeybee Stamps in the description box below in the show more section below the video. So I have my little piece of white cardstock in my uh, mini Misty. I'm just gonna run my finger over this stamp. This is the first time I'm using it and I'm gonna use my Honeybee Stamps clear embossing ink to go ahead and stamp that up, ink that up. I've stamped it out now and I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of gold embossing powder with my Nouveau spoon here. And once I've got that clear ink all covered with this um, embossing powder, I'm going to go ahead and melt that. So the nice thing about that anti-static powder tool is it uh, puts that powder down on your paper so that your um, powder only your uh, embossing powder only sticks to your clear ink, which is perfect. I am heating that now and melting it with my heat tool. That's going to be all nicely melted. And now I've taken I've taken the coordinating die to birthday wishes and die cut that out. And I'm going to add that die cut piece to my card just using uh, some foam strips so that I'm going to pop these this up a little bit using these foam strips. I'll just take those out and I'll add those onto the back of the sentiment here. And once I'm all finished, I'll take the backer off of each one of those little strips. And I'll just use my Honey Bee reverse tweezers here to help me place this onto my card. So you can just see the really adorable um, arch that I have on the card. And then this gold embossed piece of birthday is going to look really nice with the hot foil on the balloons and that circle as well. So it all just coordinates nicely. And I did also stamp and heat emboss the word wishes also from the birthday wishes set. This has a coordinating die set, which I mentioned earlier. What I love is that every one of these sentiments has a coordinating die, so you can just die cut those out and add those on. A little bit of foam adhesive on there as well. And I really wanted to add a little bit of something underneath the word wishes. So I've got my basic gems here. These are gorgeous, and I guess it's called back to basics. And I've added five of those underneath the word wishes there, just to kind of fill in some of that space as well with a little bit of bling and I just love that gold bling there I'm just straightening out the word wishes a little bit so I really love how that looks I love that the birthday wishes stamp set also has some really great coordinating sentiments for the inside of your card just showing you some of those sentiments here on that set that are just perfect for stamping inside friends that's my project for you today I hope you enjoyed this please make sure that you check out the links in the description box to all of the products that I've used today have an amazing day Stay safe, stay well, and I will see you next Friday. Bye-bye.